What do you see what you're wearing? Oh my gosh, I love it. <gasps> I love it! <laughs> Whereby, what the duck? That's all I can say about until the air. What the duck? Okay, enough of the pleasantries. Let's get going. How did you first become interested in art? How did you go from there to making it? Yeah, good question. Well, it started. I have to say honestly, it started really early. First of all, I think it's also um, it's very genetic. My dad is a, is, a, is a great painter. And it started early um, when I was maybe two, three years old in Belgium. I always was drawing and painting. And even then I painted faces, a very young age. But I think I also, like I said, I, it's a genetic thing. My dad always painted faces as well. So there must be something true about that. I always was drawing, painting with watercolors, with, with, with uh, pencils, and then, uh, I start going to art school because that was the only thing I was interested in. After the art school, long story short, I mean, I lived in Belgium for a long time till my thirties and then it came actually naturally. I lost it a little bit in Belgium, I have to say, painting, because it's, it's tough, right? And especially when you're in your twenties, you're not really focused or serious about it in my case. Uh, but then when I moved to Los Angeles, actually, Chris, my husband, gave me the opportunity again to, you know, do what I really wanted to do. And that was painting. You have a really uh, distinct style. And would you say there are any cultural movements or periods in time that influenced your work? Yeah, and I, I like that question because I never really thought about it. But if I say, I would say the feminism movement, mm -hmm. because I think it's for me all about empowering the women and especially now, right? I think we, yes. we don't see enough about it. And I think that's, that's a, a, a big part of my work, I think to empower, empowering the women. Uh, but also besides that, I think, I mean, I, I, I show the strong, fierce women, empowering the women, but besides that, I like to show it also a little bit uh, more, the, the playfulness, the sensual side of it as well. That perfectly describes your work. Yeah, um, I think I couldn't have done that 180, 100 years ago, right? No. What I'm doing now would be not allowed. It's very important to empower the women and, and yeah. to support them and as much as we can. And in my case, my art, I think. I did paint a few men, a few good men. <laughs> uh, but again, um, the empowering, but also in, in, in my artistic view, it's more about adding the, I can add more colors to it as well. Colors, I can play more with the accessories. Mm -hmm. Color palette is important. And I feel like I can do that more with the women because of the makeup, because of the accessories for me. And of course the bling. And the bling. <laughs> the, women, the women in your paintings are very fashion forward. And so we wanted to ask you, what does fashion mean to you? And, and um, is it a true art form? Yeah, oh, absolutely for me. And it's, it, fashion is for me uh, expressing yourself. Absolutely. It could be, it's, it's, it's designing. It's, it's, it's the same with, with, with other designs. It can be in architecture. It can be in, in interior design and in fashion design. But it's absolutely for me expressing, expressing yourself. And... I mean, going back to the fashion, it's maybe interesting to know that when I lived in Belgium and when I was in my, my teenage years, I always wanted to become a fashion designer or a makeup artist, which I didn't pursue it, but because I like painting. So for me, it was making a decision, what am I going to do? But I went to art school uh, instead of going to Antwerp for fashion designer. But I think I have a strong interest in fashion in general since, since a young age. I think now I show it in my work without even knowing. And definitely, definitely it's an, an art form for me. It's, it's about just expressing yourself. I think for, for designers who design clothes, it's, it's, it's the same. It's expressing uh, your feelings. People have to wear it, people have to like it. It's, a, it's an art form, yeah. Yeah, I think it's all part of the work that you do because, you know, you, you, 
you, your pieces are kind of cheeky and fun and, and have some great, you know, design. And um, I think you've been able to encompass all your interests in your yes. painting. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I yes. think that's what comes through. It's really fun to watch people come and look at your pieces because they have that emotional experience the same as you do with fashion. It's this feeling that you get. It's all one in the same. Yeah. And I like that too. People get a good feeling. It makes them happy. I, I hear it over and over. When I have your piece, it makes me happy. Mm -hmm. And that's, that makes me happy because that's, that's important. Yeah, but we need that more than that. <laughs> yeah. happiness. happiness and beautiful things. It's, it's very important to me. Mm -hmm. Beauty was always something that I loved from, from a young, young age. Yeah. We're so happy to have, you know, had such a nice, lovely relationship with you all over the years mm -hmm. and, and look forward to 2022 for more stuff. Thank Bye. you too. Happy holidays. Bye. 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 Bye.